video we talk about what was programming language and uh, in summary we are say programming language is a means of writing programming uh, algorithm that can be understood by both human and a machine today we are going to ask ourselves two questions what are the types of programming language now what are the types of procedural oriented programming language so we are going to start and ask ourselves what are the types of programming language basically we can see here that actually there are three types of programming language and that is machine language and assembly language and procedural oriented language so what is a machine language a machine language basically it is actually a digital signal so as we found out in a previous lesson a digital signals actually there are zero and one and uh, actually digital signals of zero and one they communicate directly to the hardware of a computer such as a CPU so if this is a CPU can communicate with a machine language directly into a computer and there are so many hardware which actually can communicate directly uh, with a computer however uh, digital uh, signals they are specific to a particular hardware or specific to a particular uh, machine or hardware so they are specific to a particular hardware and uh, these are low level language they are low level language and sometimes they are called first generation language and then we moved on from first generation language to what we call today the assembly language so this assembly language basically they have replaced the digital signals into symbols and letters so instead of having zero and ones, we are having symbols such as add, move, such as add, move, sub, replacing zero and one, which is more agreeable to human mind and not as complex as zero and one. For example, if we are saying add R2 10, basically this particular instruction means we are going to add 10 to register 2. And uh, also, they are hardware specific. And sometimes they are called second generation programming languages from here we actually move from machine languages to assembly language now we move on to procedure oriented languages now the symbols and letters they were replaced by english like words and mathematical symbols for example we can have if, then, as English words or mathematical symbols, as equals to, less than, greater than, or, etc., etc. For example, we can have if x is equal to 100, then, display x 
x. So basically, this is how they work. However, they are not machine or hardware dependent. This, they are machine independent. And here, by saying machine independent, they can work in different architects of a particular uh, computers. Unless, for example, if we are going to take a famous architect by Flint and see how it works. So, in Flint's architect, Influence architect, we divide the computer architect into four types or four categories. Let's see these four categories of a computer architect by Flint. And uh, see how we can make it to be more understood and where we are today. So basically, this is the Flint's architect and uh, it divides them according to how many instruction streams are there and how many data streams are there. So basically, we are going to take uh, the type of instruction streams and see how actually uh, this architect looks like. So here we have the type and here we'll have the instruction streams And here we'll have up a data stream. So according to, to Flynn's architect, he has divided them into four types, which are acronym as SysD and as SIMD and as MISD and finally as LIMD. When you're talking about SysD, this is simple instruction and simple data. So this type of an architect basically was based on a single core computer and uh, it operates on one instruction upon one data stream. So this basically was a unicore uh, computer architect which takes a very one simple instruction operates on one data instruction. So in this particular one we have got one CPU acting on one instruction uh, upon one data set. The second type was what you call sim, uh, SIMD which means single instruction, multiple device. In this particular uh, uh, type of an architect, uh, example was a vector a machine or a vector uh, uh, CPU machine. And this basically worked in, uh, operates in one instruction, but more than one data uh, stream. Therefore, in this particular uh, architect, we are talking about uh, having one instruction stream working on actually different type uh, of uh, data streams. Basically, this can be found on a modern computer whereby we are talking about SSE and NNX or, or multimedia data uh, multimedia uh, operations. The third one was a MISD, which is called multiple instruction and uh, single data. So we'll have more than 
one instruction acting on one uh, data stream. In reality, uh, there are no uh, such applications up to date which they use uh, uh, a MISD, but this will be an example of a, a stream processor. The last one is what you call a MIMD. A MIMD basically it is multiple instruction, so we'll have uh, more than one instruction and more than one database. So this is a typical a multi-core a multi-core computer and basically uh, this is the majority of the computers which you have today whereby we have uh, 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 a dual core we'll have a core 3 we'll have a core 5 and a core 7 so this is the architect onto that in our next lesson therefore we are going to answer our question what are the types of procedural oriented programming thank you don't forget to subscribe uh, and click the subscribe button below